Well, good morning. My name is Jim Gallagher, and I'm really happy to be here this morning with our colleagues of mine from John Hancock and, of course, all of you to unveil the first set of what will be over 500 banners that will line the streets of Boston right through to race day on April 17. With us this morning are four-time Boston Marathon champion Bill Rogers. Bill. Three-time Canadian Olympian Eric Gillis. Eric. And two-time U.S. Olympian Desiree Linden. Now, Eric and Des are part of the uh, 2017 John Hancock Elite Athlete Team, and they're in town putting in training miles on the course in preparation for Marathon Monday. Also with us are our partners now for 32 years, members of the Boston Athletic Association, including CEO Tom Grell, Tom, <laughs> President Joanne Flaminio, and Vice President Gloria Ratti, and of course, our friends at Marathon Sports, including manager Shane O'Hara. Shane. From glorious starts in Hopkinton to exciting finishes down right here on Boylston Street, there have been countless defining moments that contribute to a legacy more than a century in the making. Some moments are inspiring. We just have to look back to last year's champion Atsaye Beysa gifted her winner's trophy to Bobby Gibb, who was the first unofficial women's winner. Other moments are truly heartfelt, like Tatiana McFadden winning her fourth Boston title while proudly representing the Martin Richard Foundation. Whatever the achievement, running and raising funds for nonprofits, overcoming personal challenges, or just handing out thousands of finisher medals and water along the route, supporting long training runs, the collective experiences of everyone connected to the world's greatest marathon embody what it means to be Boston and to make this race a celebration for all. Beginning in 2014, we raised the first banner here at the finish line each spring because we want to continue to recognize the kindness and courage that was displayed here in heroic fashion in 2013. Being Boston is showing determination and resolution despite any challenge or obstacle. And we have certainly witnessed that within the survivor community. So before we raise the banners, I really like to, and I have the privilege of, introducing our mayor for a few remarks. During his recent State of the City address, Mayor Walsh spoke about some of Boston's really incredible successes. He said, and I quote, we're fighters in Boston. We don't know the word impossible. Well, we couldn't agree more. That's really being Boston. And that's knowing there will be 30,000 runners determined to run 26.2 miles and cross this finish line. There's no room for the word impossible on Patriots Day. Friends, please join me in welcoming our mayor, Marty Walsh. I just want to correct Jim a little bit. The only impossible is me running the marathon. So thank you, Jim. Uh, I want to thank Jim and everyone at John Hancock for, for their incredible, what they do every single year. I, I didn't want to say sponsorship. Uh, Jim Gallagher and John Hancock is a part of our community, such an important part in so many different ways. And I just can't express my gratitude uh, for their involvement in our city, uh, not just today and on Marathon Day, but every day of the year. So thank you, Jim, for everything that you, you and your company does uh, for our city. I want to thank the Boston Athletic Association as well for continuing this proud tradition year after year. I was saying, I can't believe it's my fourth year um, of, of, of the marathon, and it really is an incredible weekend in our city. And the BAA just has it down to a science along with our partners, and really making it such just a, a great, um, the marathon itself is unbelievable, but the weekend leading up to it is absolutely spectacular. So 
Thank you, Tom, and thank you to all the whole team at the BAA for your great work. Uh, I also want to just acknowledge Commissioner Joe Finn from the Boston Fire Department and Commissioner Bill Evans from the Boston Police Department that are with us today. Thank you very much for being here this morning. I want to also recognize uh, champions and legends, uh, Bill Rogers and, and Desiree Linden. Thank you for being here with us. And thank you, Eric Gillis, who's making his long-anticipated Boston Marathon debut this year. So we're very excited about looking, watching you come this way. I'll be the one screaming over there next to Jim Gallagher as you're coming down Boylston. Um, but each person, uh, the Boston Marathon stands for something different. From runners all over the world, it's their biggest stage, the ultimate test of endurance and the passion. For many, it's about community service and giving back, and, and Jim touched upon that. For me, it's about a day when Bostonians and people from all backgrounds come together to line the streets to celebrate one another. For everyone in Boston, the marathon's about resilience that's become more true ever than in the last few years. The Boston Marathon is a key part of our identity. It's how we show the world that Boston is strong, that our traditions endure. These banners will help tell that story this year. The Boston Marathon pushes people to be their best, to dig deeper than they ever thought they could. Every runner who makes that run from Hopkinton to Boylston Street knows this, ra this race is their moment. That's why this year our theme, Make It Your Moment, is important. Whether you're running, cheering on others, fundraising for a great cause, it's your moment to shine. Marathon Monday 2013 was one of Boston's darkest days, but we emerged from that darkness with a newfound strength. It became a moment, and nothing says that louder than one Boston day. On one Boston day, we honor those who we lost and those whose lives changed forever on April 15, 2013. But you'll see spontaneous acts of kindness on one Boston day this year, and grace. You'll, see, you'll notice people walking to the work or riding the tea, helping each other. That's the idea about giving back to our community. You can feel it in our air on the 15th. It's proof that the best way to drive out darkness is with light. Everyone can participate in their own way. They don't have to post it on Facebook or tweet it out. They can just do a nice random act of kindness. This year, John Hancock will once again be honoring one Boston day by partnering with the St. Francis House. Together, they're gonna to hold a sneaker drive. Last year, they collected over 1,000 pairs of shoes for our homeless. This year they're hoping to break that record. And I encourage everyone to support this great project and help them. No matter who you are, one Boston, in this one Boston day, which will be on Saturday, April 15th, make it your moment. Log on to onebostonday.org to learn more and use the hashtag, hashtag onebostonday, to make your pledge on social media. And it's incredible to see Bostonians and the strength and resilience that we do have as Bostonians. So I want to thank everyone for your role in carrying on Boston's tradition, showing the world what our city's made of. And again, to all the runners that will be running, our th three runners here today, two I think will be running, thank you. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you for showing us that we are Boston strong. Well, thank you very much, Mayor Walsh. We really appreciate you being with us this morning. So that concludes our remarks. So at this time, I'll ask you to direct your attention behind you uh, to our elite athletes, Bill, Desiree, and Eric, as they unveil one of our 2017 Boston Marathon banners. Thanks, folks. Enjoy the rest of the day.